Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this great little flat pop-up box or envelope that can be put in an art journal. It can be used for all kinds of little treasures. And today I'm making this out of a magazine page. So I'm just going to show you how to make it. So what you need is double-sided paper is preferred if you have double-sided paper. If not, that's okay. But if you're going to have single-sided paper, start with the uh, start folding with the pattern side down. So I'm going to fold it in half in one direction. Just fold it in half, making sure all the sides line up. And I'm going to give that a really nice crease at the top. And if you have a bone folder, that will be very handy. Now I'm going to take this, uh, I have the folded edge up here, and I'm going to just make a fold all the way in half again. And I will use my creasing, creasing tool to give that a nice, nice crease. Now I'm going to open it up, and I have my folded edge at the top and my open edge at the bottom. I'm going to take a I'm going to take the top edge and I'm folding it down to the center crease. And then I'm going to take the left top edge and I'm going to fold that also down to the center crease. On both sides here. And, I'm, and if you need to adjust your fold just a little, go ahead. But you want it to be nice and even at the bottom here. So now I'm just going to give it a nice crease here on both sides. And I'm going to open this up. And probably the best thing I can do, if I open this up, I'm going to reverse this fold right here in the middle. I'm just going to push it in the other direction. I'm not making a new crease. I'm just reversing it. And what I'm going to do is open it again. And this is my dominant side. This is the white side if you have plain paper. And now I'm going to take these ends and I'm just going to bring them into the center. These, these peaks here, I'm bringing these, these mountain folds, bringing them into the center. And then I'm going to take the folds that are here, the diagonal folds, I'm going to reverse them and then I'm just going to collapse this into this base with two flaps on either side. And that's what you should have now. So the next step is I'm going to fold the left side, the left edge to the center crease that's right here. On this side, I'm going to fold the other side to meet that crease. I'm just going to make sure that they're nice and even. Nice, everything should just be really precise on this one. All right, I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to fold the left edge to that center crease. And I'll do the same on this right edge, right to the center. I just want to make sure that these, this top layer meet, is matching with the, the layer below. And the same on this side. Just kind of double check, making sure that they are nice and matched. And now what I'm going to do is take the top edge, this big thick top edge, and I'm going to fold it down to meet. Just going to give it a crease, kind of make sure that edge is sharp there and the edge is sharp here. And I'm just going to give that a nice crease. It's really thick at this point right at the top. Now I'm going to take the, this is going to be my handle, by the way. This is the bottom of the box. This is going to be the handle. And I want to make a triangle handle, so I'm just going to fold this up and on both sides, this top layer up to make that nice flap. And then I'll just fold it backwards like that. That will be one handle. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same on the other side. And I'm just going to make sure that it kind of matches what's underneath on both sides. And then just folding it up backwards. It is now finished. I'm just going to have to open it up. Gently pull the handles outward and then just push out with your fingers. Push out the sides. Just 
not creating any new creases. We're just pushing out the sides. And now you have a box. But it, now the next thing is to collapse the box. So what I'm going to do is cut all the little parts out. And I'm just going to put, press these in. And then at the same time, just to make this look a little better, I'm going to make a, uh, just make a fold right here just to crank to sort of get that started. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just going to bring this edge back to this part here. Right here. And that's just to help it. It help it to it helps to collapse the model. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm just going to bring this in and Just kind of make it, just kind of get that crease started. It really does help it. And then one more. Just going to start that crease right at this corner and bring it down like that. So what, now what I can do now is I can collapse this into the box shape or to the envelope shape and just push it down. And now I can take my folder and really give this a really nice crease to finish it. And there it is. This is the box. And it becomes a beautiful little flat box that you can put little notes in. You can put a card in. Now to keep this, if you want to have this stay flat, you can make a little belly band belt for this. So what I'm going to do is just Put this piece of paper. It's maybe a little wider than I want it to be, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Um, but any width that you want, decorative paper would be great. Uh, you just don't want it to be too tight, so I'm just going to wrap it kind of loosely around the piece, and then I'm going to just put a little glue right just to hold it together. And still keeping in mind it's going to be a little loose because I may have some goodies inside that box and I don't want to make it so tight that I can't take it off and on. And that keeps it closed. But if, you're, if it's in a journal, you can just put it in the journal and close the book and it stays flat. So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed making one of these along with me. And um, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.